what does this look like? Does this look like a battery? Let's go ahead and find out. So what I got myself right here, I got myself some copper and some zinc. These are copper plated and these are zinc plated. It should work. It's kind of funny though, underneath these copper plated pennies is zinc anyway. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that way. And I believe these are steel, but zinc coated. So what we're gonna do is, I have myself an electrolyte solution right here. What we're going to, it is just some water. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in it. Just literally some salt. I'm gonna mix it up. And that is ready. This is just gonna be preventing my kind of background from getting all wet. I have my multimeter right here. I'm gonna turn it on to DC volts because this is gonna be a direct current. And I'm gonna set it to uh, range for just volts. And first, I'm gonna to touch it against my fingers. And you see, I'm conducting a little bit of volts, which is kind of fun. All right, so I threw a little pieces of cardboard inside of the electrolyte solution, which is just literally water and salt. I got my voltmeter out. I got some pennies and some washers. These are zinc plated. These are copper plated. So you can think of them as zinc and copper. That's what we need for the pile. And what's soaking in here is just little pieces of cardboard from like a cereal box. And this is going to be the cushion in between uh, the pennies and the washer, which is going to help conduct the electricity from the salt. So the next thing is we're going to have to set this up. Got my probe right here, my DC voltmeter is reading on. I have uh, the cardboard and my little spoon here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a penny on top of there. I'm gonna throw a cardboard right there. I'm gonna throw a zinc washer on top of that. Then I'm going to put uh, this. Actually this, another layer, another one, another layer, and this. And this should be the pile. So if I connect this black electrode to it, it should read a voltage. And you can see it is reading a voltage. It's very small though. It's like point, it's jumping all over the place. Let's see if I can get a sturdier connection. It's like 0 0.2. 0 0.2 volts is what I'm getting from this pile right here. And if I just connect it to my fingers, I get like 0.9. So there is some voltage definitely going on right here. Let me take this whole thing, give it a little quick dunk. Quick little dunk. Oop, the penny from the bottom fell out. We need that there. And I'm getting like 0 0.2 volts. Very cool. So it's a very primitive battery right here. I love it. So it got me thinking when I was doing a little bit of research about the voltaic pile. It made me think if there's other elements and metals that we can use to kind of produce the same thing. I didn't do much research. This is really just something I wanted to try for myself. Now we're ready to set up both of the voltaic piles. I got both of my two choices right here. I got the copper and the zinc, and I got the silver and the cadmium. So I kind of have a feeling that they're both going to be able to produce, uh, I guess, a volts from, I guess, the voltaic pile that I'm going to be doing. Got my gloves on right here. Next thing I'm going to be doing, I got my cardboard soaking in the electrolyte. We're going to make some piles. So I got, uh, let's make the, the cadmium one first. We got silver. And this is 99.9% .9 silver. And this is 99.9% .9 cadmium. Another piece of cardboard. And another piece of silver. Some pure silver. And another piece of cardboard. Just like that. Another piece of cadmium. So right there, that is a cell. That should produce some volts. And we got some more. I never thought I'd use a spoon to get cardboard box <laughs> from water. That's interesting. All right, then we got the copper, the cardboard, zinc, cardboard, copper, cardboard, <laughs> cardboard, 
and zinc. All right, so let's go ahead and read some voltages. Let's read the copper one first, if we can get it over to the edge. You can see the voltmeter over here. Set to DC volts. Keep the pile nice and lined up. I just want it to be underneath the copper. And if we're reading, we're reading about 0.6 volts right now. Very cool. So this is actually creating a voltage. This is a very simple battery. If you made a couple more of these, you'd probably light up a little LED, or I'm sure you could. Very cool. So let's go ahead and check out the pile of silver and cadmium. And you're getting just about the same voltage right there. I think that's my... Uh, letting me know it's been on for a long time but we're getting the same voltage right there 0 0.6 and this one is like here well very similar voltage 0 0.6 huh, very cool but it's just uh, I noticed some patterns in the way that uh, the atomic structure is and I made a guess and thought it would work and it totally works we got a silver and cadmium little battery right here very cool I love it and we got right over here the copper and zinc battery. And it turned off. That's interesting, it turns off while you're using it. And this one over here, we got the copper and zinc battery. Very cool. Let's see how much volts only one of these cells produces. 0.3. I mean, it does make sense. It is just tapping it. Silver and cadmium. 0.5. So this, the silver and cadmium seems to produce just a hair more. I want to see what happens if we remove the cardboard barrier. If it produces any volts. Nope. You really need that barrier. Yep. All right. Very cool. Well, I had a lot of fun of making this video, a lot of fun doing some research. I learned a whole bunch and I made an educated guess and I guess that some silver and cadmium would work to make a, a voltaic pile and it totally works so I'm super happy with that and had a lot of fun just making some small little primitive batteries it's crazy to think that literally a couple hundred years ago someone was playing with pieces of metal just like this stacking them and that's really what started all of electric electricity and technology that we know to this day which is pretty wild to think about Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun watching it. Hopefully you learned something. I want to say thanks for stopping by. Keep on keeping on. And stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one.